Hey all, Hiba here. So uh, today I'm looking at a game that I've been looking forward to for a really long time, and uh, it's the new Aliens uh, Dark Descent game. And uh, I must admit, I was a little bit surprised at the way the game actually works now that I've you know had my hands on with it. But uh, I've also realized that it's quite a lot like the Divinity games. Not as deep though, but uh, you know, still a mix of real time. And uh, not quite turn-based, but you know, at least gameplay is a little bit slower, and uh, I like that. And uh, one thing that really surprised me right off the bat is the quality of the, uh, like the cutscenes. They're really good. It's almost like watching an actual alien movie. I'd say, okay, yes, uh, the voice acting is not the best. I'll put that out there. But uh, the, uh, you know, the cutscenes themselves, wow, they look really, really good. And uh, like I said, I felt like I was watching a new Alien movie, which obviously is, uh, you know, the best thing that can possibly happen because I am a big Alien fan. Oh. So uh, the game runs on Unreal Engine, which, you know, is always uh, means quality. And uh, yes, the technical performance of the game is, uh, is excellent. It's not stellar by any means, but it's definitely uh, more than reasonable for the price. And the price is one thing I want to mention here. This is a cheap game, at least for a new, a brand new game. It's about two thirds of the price of you know a normal full price game. And uh, as far as I can tell, you get you're getting a lot for your money in this game. And like I said, the atmosphere and the cutscenes and the whole alien feel is uh, is pretty much there. The voice acting a little bit rusty, but okay, we can uh, disregard that because we get so much other stuff for the money here. And uh, the one thing that I I'm disappointed about I knew that up front though but it's a little bit of a missed opportunity in this game here I think is the lack of any sort of multiplayer especially local multiplayer uh, because this game is a uh, well you could have made it you know rely on that but as it is it is a pure solo game and uh, I guess that's okay but uh, it would be nice if you could you know play four players in one squad and uh, I realized that would probably be pretty hard to pull off when it comes to uh, at least the way the game is put together now. But uh, anyway, uh, I'm not gonna complain. It's a solid solo player game, no doubt about that. And uh, I think it'll keep people busy for a long time because there's many missions and some of them are deviously hard. I will say that some of them are really difficult. So uh, you initially start out the game as a, a lone survivor from a space station. And yeah, we've kind of seen that one before, right? But uh, what else are you going to do in this game here? <laughs> so after a while, you uh, kind of, you know, join forces with some Marines. And uh, at that point, the game kind of changes from just, you know, maneuvering one person around the environment to actually maneuvering a whole squad of Marines. And uh, it gets a lot more uh, in-depth and also a little bit complicated after that. But uh, that is a good thing, because uh, this game here could be very easily made too simple. So before each mission, it's up to you to uh, first of all uh, heal the Marines that have you know gotten hurt in previous missions, Operation and also research right. new oh, equipment and stuff like that. But the most imp important thing here is that you have to uh, first of all pick the right mission, and then you also have to pick the right Marines for the right mission, and you have to pick the right supplies and equipment for the right Marines for the right mission. <laughs> So uh, it quickly gets very complicated, and uh, that's a good thing, like I said. Uh, this is not a simple game, and the game Understood. even warns Uploading in the beginning that uh, this is a difficult game, and it sure is, it really is. So uh, your squad makeup is, at least further on in the game, completely up to you, and also how you equip each uh, marine, I mean, what weapons, what, uh, what you know, Utilities should they have should they be able to weld doors should they be able to heal others? Should they carry extra ammo or flares or whatever? Uh, you can really tailor the whole squad to suit whatever it is you're going up against and also to a certain extent to your playstyle What it is that you find fun to play like and uh, that's again a very good thing The gameplay, like I already just mentioned a little bit earlier on, is really satisfying because it is real-time gameplay, but you can pause or slow down the action depending on what you prefer. And uh, while you have the action paused or slowed down, that's when you make your tactical decisions, uh, like where to put suppression fire, where to put mines, where to shoot grenade launchers, who's going to shoot with a shotgun or whatever. There's so many things that you have to think about. 
and uh, it makes every encounter really really interesting it's not just one of these games here where you know an alien pops up you shoot it and then you shoot 20 more aliens in like two minutes it's nothing like that it really takes a lot of uh, of well thinking and uh, if you make a mistake you're dead it's very simple so in that way like i said earlier it's kind of reminiscent of the divinity games except that it's not as steep an rpg but uh, you do have that element of switching between real time and sort of uh, turn-based action and uh, it works really well and i'm quite surprised no one's really pulled this off before in the alien universe because like i said it fits the uh, like the whole universe perfectly and uh, it's a very very satisfying way to play uh, these alien uh, games here it, it really is so you know if you're looking for a pretty solid single player game here that's not going to break the bank you know, and if you're an alien fan, I'm sure you're going to pick this up no matter what, and you should because it is an excellent game. Uh, then, well, it's definitely worth the money because I only paid about forty dollars Australian for it, which is about like uh, almost half price of a normal game. And uh, so far, I have really been enjoying my time with the game, and I don't think that it's you know discount in any way. Perhaps except for a few of the voices. Like I said, some of them are a little bit jarring. But uh, all in all, a uh, very solid game and definitely worth whatever it is that you have to pay for it. Of course, if you wait two or three months, you're going to get it for half that. But uh, if you're looking for a solid single-player game, well, this is uh, definitely it. And especially if you like the Divinity games, uh, this is even better. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you out there.